Hi, I'm Bob. The third principle of economics states that rational people think at the margin. People make decisions comparing marginal benefits and marginal costs. Today, I will explain the concept of marginal cost and illustrate how to derive the marginal cost curve from the production possibilities frontier. The marginal cost of a good is the opportunity cost of producing one more unit of that good. For example, from the production possibilities frontier curve we used in the last video, we find that if we make one more car from 0 to 1, we have to give up 0.5 units of computers from 20 to 19.5. Therefore, the marginal cost of producing one more car is 0.5 units of computers. Marginal cost is not constant as more cars are produced. It's important to point out which point we are discussing. As we produce one more car from 1 to 2, we have to give up 1.5 units of computers from 19.5 to 18. The marginal cost of producing one more car is 1.5 units of computers at that point. As we continue to make one more car from C to D, we give up 2 units of computers from 18 to 16. The marginal cost is equal to the rate of change delta cost divided by delta quantity, that is, the change in cost divided by the change in quantity. It is the absolute value of the slope of the PPF curve. We could calculate the slope of each point and draw the marginal cost curve. In the marginal cost graph, we put the number of cars on the x-axis and the marginal cost of producing each quantity of cars on the y-axis. The marginal cost is measured in terms of units of computers. In practice, when we derive the marginal cost curve from the PPF, we use the averages. Between point A and point B on the PPF, we have to give up an average of 0.5 units of computers to produce one more car. So on the marginal cost graph, we plot 0.5 between 0 and 1. Let's continue to draw the marginal cost from one car to two cars. We have to forego 1.5 units of computers. So we plot 1.5 between 1 and 2. We repeat the calculation for each interval on the PPF and plot the marginal cost for each interval of cars produced. We see that the marginal cost is increasing as more cars are made. It is upward sloping. We know that the law of increasing marginal cost and the law of diminishing marginal returns are the two sides of the same coin. As more and more resources, like labor, shift to the car industry, additional workers have to share equipment and work in more clouded conditions, which leads to diminishing marginal product or returns. The law of increasing marginal cost applies to all goods and services. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.